their sadness. Good evening. The pain is unimaginable. We begin tonight in Merced, the community there beginning to grieve, gathering by candlelight after a family of four was kidnapped and killed, found dead in the middle of an orchard. The prime suspect booked into jail tonight as we learn more about what exactly happened. It is a grim tragedy that has gripped the nation as people everywhere struggle to comprehend how anyone could kill an entire family. NBC Bears Cheryl Hurd joins us in Merced with the very latest. Cheryl. There are dozens of candles still lit here tonight in the square, left behind by a community in mourning. The Singh family surrounded by an entire Merced community, a community that is grieving the loss of four family members. Your family struggles to comprehend and a community that you once were just friends and neighbors and acquaintance with comes together to support you. Candlelights flicker on pictures of the family kidnapped and killed. On Wednesday, the bodies of Amandeep Singh, Jocelyn Kaur, Jazdeep Singh, and their eight-month-old daughter, Aruhi Dahiri, were found by a farm worker in a field five miles away. When there's a voice, Lord, that is no longer there. When there's a phone that you can call, but they won't answer, Lord. When there's a child whose precious voice you won't hear anymore. We have a surviving parents. The wife of Amandi his surviving kids. They're going to need our support, our help, and we ask community to stay with us, help us, help them. The entire family was kidnapped on Monday at gunpoint at a business on Highway 59. It was caught on surveillance video. Police say they were taken by this man, Jesus Salgado, a convicted felon. Tonight, he is in county jail. The family member did confirm to me that he worked for the family. I don't have specifics as far as who in the family he worked for. The sheriff says Delgado tried to hang himself when family told him they contacted law enforcement. I believe wholeheartedly based upon the circumstances that we know of during this case that a second person, in my opinion, has to be involved. As police continue investigating, the outpouring of love and support from the community continues. If we're going to channel the anger, we're going to channel the pain, we're going to channel the sadness into more love and to, into uh, our community protecting itself, our community showing love to each other. Now there are three more candlelight memorials set, each memorial honoring each person killed. Now a family member did make an announcement tonight saying that the family has not set up a GoFundMe yet. They plan to do so tomorrow along with the Sheriff's Department. So if you see one out there, it could be a fraud. Reporting live in Merced, I'm Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.